All right, guys, so let's go through another one of my sketchbooks. I actually picked this hardcover sketchbook. Uh, it's an art alternatives book. Picked it up at WonderCon earlier this year. Uh, they had them on sale for five bucks, so I bought up a whole bunch of them. But um, a lot of these here are like practice sketches done with uh, Sakura brush pens, which I don't use anymore, but like something like this. Yeah, the Sakura brush pen, I think, are felt tip, I believe so, and they are kind of my favorite pens, but the thing is they're not refillable, so it's just kind of not um, practical for me to invest in those uh, those pens anymore. So that's why I've switched over to uh, the Pentel pocket brush and the um, Tombow brush pens. And again, a lot of this is just uh, just kind of me dicking around. Actually, a lot of these you could see me draw on my YouTube channel from a few months ago. This is the uh, Sakura uh, Sepia brush pen. I like this one. I think I did this one live. Oh, by the way, the next sketchbook that I'm going to be filling out is going to be this guy over here. <laughs> That's going to be fun. I don't know how long it's going to take me. It, the, the challenge is to try and finish it in 30 days. But we'll, we will see. Scribble, scribbles. I don't have a lot of... Sometimes I write personal stuff in my, um, my sketchbook in regards to like um, what, what I want to do with the business. Like my ideas for YouTube videos and what I believe is going to make me money and stuff. So sometimes I'll write that stuff in here. So if you see some of that scribble, scribble, go ahead and steal my ideas. <laughs> Um, so I actually did this here when I went to go see Kim Jong-gi in San Francisco. Uh, we were all sitting there. A, it, they had a live drawing at night, and then the next day they had a, um, a workshop. So it was kind of like a big tutorial workshop, and there were a bunch of artists there. And um, one of the big, best compliments that I got was um, we were all kind of just comparing sketchbooks. You know, we are kind of all just measuring each other's dicks, and... Uh, one guy was like, well, dude, we should be here watching you. And I was like, holy shit, that's like one of the coolest compliments I've ever gotten. So a lot of this is me um, just practicing form and shapes and uh, just getting everything. See, um, I believe I did this live. And it's just getting the, the basics of everything down. That was a sketch. <laughs> uh, so I had mentioned this before in another sketchbook tour it's just my sketchbook is just complete nonsense like it's just Whatever I'm fucking feeling at the time and whatever I want to practice and then I just spit it out onto the page. And again, I don't know how a lot of these people, maybe their sketchbooks are planned out. I don't know, but they're just, they're so like pretty and they're like, oh, look at my sketchbook. It's basically complete illustrations. And I'm like, that's cool. That's cool. But that's not my sketchbook. I believe I was sitting at the airport when I was drawing that guy. Not them, but them. 
Um, so you see everything is technically um, just in a big box. Like when you want to draw anything in perspective, everything is just in a big box. You know, the center of any human is going to be their groin area. It's not the belly button. It's the groin right here. So when you start off and you're drawing a cube and you're trying to measure out the human body, just remember that the groin is always the very center of the body. Once you do that, see, because when I do things like this, practices like this, I draw out the cube in whatever perspective I need it to be, and then I always make my center lines, the crosshairs, and then I start off by drawing the groin, and then I, I build off of that. I, don't, I used to start off with drawing the head, which is something that a lot of people still do. I don't do that anymore. Um, build off the groin, the groin groin. I believe I was at a life drawing course, or a life drawing class, and then I got bored of what was going on, so I started drawing other stuff. Uh, again, this was during that life drawing class. Whoops. Probably should have used a better pencil. I did this live, I believe. Uh, so I was at the airport. I think I was at the... Uh, San Diego airport when I did these. It's always, always good to draw the things and the people around you. Um, so I know with this sketch right here, I was really trying to, again, I don't use any pencil when I do this. I'm just trying to lay it down. Um, to lay it down with a, this was a Sakura brush pen. Um, I remember what I was trying to do here was trying to get more characters to interact with each other um, somewhat and just trying to get more limbs on top of limbs. Like I could draw an action pose with somebody just like running or jumping or something, but just get a bunch of limbs kind of interacting with each other is something that I have a hard time with. So that's what I remember specifically, that's what I was doing with that. And again, just more. Just more pose practice. Uh, I think I was, this was a helicopter practice right here. Uh, see, more of this stuff. Basics, basics. You must have strong basics. All right, so here I switched over to the uh, the Copic, the Copic, whatever, uh, felt tip brush pen. And it's fine. I really hated it at first, but it's really grown on me the more I've practiced with it. I mean, it, it's not like the Pentel pocket brush. It's not, you know, it's not that at that level, but it's cool. I, it's, I, it's grown on me now. Like, I've gotten used to it. So there's some more sketches, more basic stuff to practice. Um, try and draw the body at every angle, at every perspective. I think I was at the airplane when I did this. Uh, more just figure drawing. Posing practice. Basics, basics, basics. Kind of looks like the notebook of a serial killer, huh? Do you see? 
Do you see? Um, I remember, oh, I can't remember what con this was at, but I was just staring at people's feet for like two hours. Yeah, um, oh, that's it. Oh, no, I left a couple pages open in the back. I left two pages empty. No good. Video ruined. Notebook useless. <laughs> but no, that's um, just another one of my sketchbooks. Um, when I travel, I like to carry these bigger ones with me with the hard covers because then they're just, they're, they're tougher. So I don't end up ruining it. So, hope you guys found that interesting. Thank you for watching. And we will be back with another video tomorrow. Bye.